In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called multiplying expressions involving complex conjugates. We're multiplying here, and for each one of these, we have x minus a complex number. So we have our variables and our complex numbers. I'm just going to multiply here by the FOIL method, or you can think of it as just distribution. Starting with this first x, x times x is x squared. And then I would also need to multiply the x times that complex number. And notice that there is a negative in front of that complex number. So I'm just going to write this as a negative x times 2 minus 4i. And then we need to distribute that complex number. And again, notice that it's negative on the outside. I'm multiplying here by the x, so I will call that a negative x times the 2 plus 4i. And then lastly, we have to multiply the complex numbers here. Each one of these have a negative in front of them, but a negative times a negative would just be a positive. And I'm just going to write this out as a 2 plus 4i times a 2 minus 4i. So we've done all of the distributing. We now need to simplify. I'll bring down that x squared. And then for the second term here, I can distribute negative x times 2 is a negative 2x. Negative x times a negative 4i is a positive 4ix. The next can also be distributed here. Negative x times 2, a negative 2x. Negative x times a plus 4i would be a negative 4ix. And then for this last piece, I again have to distribute first multiplying the 2 times 2 as a plus 4. Then the 2 times a minus 4i would be a minus 8i. Distributing the plus 4i would be 4i times 2, a plus 8i. 4i times a minus 4i would be a negative 16i squared. Continuing to simplify, I still have the x squared term, but I do have some like terms that I can combine. So the negative 2x and the negative 2x combine to be a negative 4x. The plus 4ix and the minus 4ix, those are going to cancel. I have the one whole number here, plus 4, and then a minus 8i and a plus 8i. Those also combine and cancel. And then we have the minus 16i squared. We should recall that i squared is negative 1. So this is a minus 16 times negative 1, or a positive 16. And then lastly, I have the 4 plus 16, so a positive 20. This would be our simplified expression. 